Hey Christy, it is um, July the 19th and I don't know how long this video is going to be because I am running on five hours of sleep and I've been up since 1 a.m. my time because I had to work. I did another way day and we went out back out to Hereford to a different dairy and had to take samples from 2,528 cows and it took 11 hours to do that and then driving back and forth and it is somewhere between an hour and a half and two hours away which means my whole day was longer than one day of band camp and I was on my feet for most of it. So I am absolutely exhausted Unfortunately, I did not have control of the radio on the way there and back, and they put on Jesus music. And while I don't mind Christian music, like Christian rock, stuff like that, I like AFI, um, Skillet, Reliant K, like, I don't mind Christian music. It's, there. it was like worship music, and so a song comes on, and you're like, oh, that's really pretty. Or you're like, oh, that guitar is awesome. And then they start singing and it's like, oh, those are good lyrics. And then the chorus comes and it's like, Jesus, we love you. You are awesome. And I'm like, yeah, and you killed it. Because that's a bit much for me. And I listened to that on the way there, sort of. It was on very loudly. And I was trying to sleep because it was still dark out. But whatever. And then on the way back, I plugged in my headphones and, um, hit shuffle and does it make me a bad person if I only had one headphone in and my iPod is playing um, CeeLo Green's F.U. and in the other ear I'm hearing radio Jesus music. Well when we get to the dairy, um, most of the dairy workers are Mexican so they speak Spanish all the time and this dairy had a um, boombox like in it they had brought in and I got to listen to Spanish music for 13 hours straight. It's really, gets really, it gets, it got really old. Especially when you know the tune, but it's the Spanish version, and so you're just kind of like, uh, like they played Love Hurts, but it was in Spanish and it was weird. Um, my last video I said that there's really no one to fangirl with. Um, I sort of stand corrected. There's really no one to fangirl with over mu over movies or books, especially books. No one here. Um, especially when my mom reads Fifty Shades of Grey, all three of them, and likes it, and it's garbage. It is such garbage, I can't even. A couple folks I work with, because we just play Pandora all day, um, and it's pretty cool because a lot of the music <laughs> ends up being like throwback stuff from the 90s and our childhood and it's great. And if a song comes on we're like, oh, have you seen the music video to this? Or, or um, did you know that? And we go back and forth. One lady I worked with knows, I think his name's Casey Donahue. He's a country singer or something. But um, she went to high school with, I think she said the bass player, and so she gets to like drive them around and stuff. And so she definitely fangirls about that. And it's really interesting to hear all her crazy stories about um, driving them around. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go to bed now, even though it's only like nine here. I'm going to say goodnight, and I will see you tomorrow.